you have a very good knowledge of swords and algebra if you are able to solve this or simplify this rather welcome back to my channel now this is a challenging algebra or square root math problem let us do it together okay first of all let's call this if this is equal to y okay if this is equal to y then we can say that y is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of now 4 is 2 multiplied by 2 remember that our intention is to simplify all right so 2 multiplied by 2 plus square root of 2 multiplied by 3 because 6 is 2 multiplied by 3 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 multiplied by 2. Now, remember that square root of A multiplied by B is equal to square root of A multiplied by square root of B. You are going to see how this is going to be crushed into very simple expression, okay? So I'd like you to watch to the end and see the final and amazing results. So now we have y is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus, so this is same thing as root 2 multiplied by root 2 plus this same thing as root 2 multiplied by root 3 divided by root 1 is 1, right? 1 plus root 3 plus root 4 multiplied by root 2. So we have y is equal to, so here we have root 2 plus root 3 plus, now this and this, they have root 2 in common. So let's factorize that. Now, root 2, root 2, divided by root 2, we give us root 2 remaining, plus root 3, root 2, divided by root 2, root 3 will remain. Okay? Divided by 1 plus root 3 plus root 4 is 2. So we have 2 root 2. <laughs> now we have y is equal to, if we put this in brackets, we are going to see that this and this are the same. So we can easily factorize that. Okay? So we can bring out root 2 plus root 3 as our common factor. Okay? Then, um, when this is divided by this, we have 1. Plus, when this is divided by this, we have root 2 remaining. Divided by 1 plus root 3 plus. Now, note that 2 root 2 is the same thing as root 2 plus root 2. Yes, because for example, if you say 2 times 3, 2 multiplied by 3. This is equal to 6. And if you add 3 to itself, 3 plus 3, you will get 6. So it means that 2 times any number is that number added to itself. Okay, so I believe I've cleared this, guys. I know that some of you will say I'm wrong in the comments, or some will say I do not understand that, please. Which is why I had to take my time to explain that. Okay, now we are on the same page. So we have y is equal to root 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 1 plus root 2 divided by, let's pick 1 plus root 2 here, 1 plus root 2. And let's pick, uh, this is addition, this is addition. And let's pick 
root 3 and root 2 here. Okay? I hope you notice what I'm trying to do. Now, you can see that we have this here and this here. And we also have this here and this here. Now, this is becoming simpler. If this is the first time you are seeing this lovely channel, it's time to click that subscription button yes, so that you will not miss us. We, we will not be happy to miss you. Please, we love to have you in this our loving family. So tune in at your confidence. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. If you don't, what are we not doing well? Tell us in the comments, okay? Like, comment, and share as well. Thank you very much. So if we continue... We can say that y is equal to, because we have something similar, both on the numerator and on the denominator, we can name them. We can say let A be equal to 1 plus root 2, and let B be equal to root 2 plus root 3. Okay? So let's use this to simplify this. So it simply means that we can write y to be equal to, this is b and this is a. So we have b multiplied by a divided by, this is a and this is b, a multiplied by b. So we can say y is a, b, sorry, this is addition, okay? So this will be a plus b. So, A, B over A plus B. All right? Now, let me come here. If Y is equal to A, B over A plus B, then it means that 1 over Y is, one, is equal to A plus B divided by A, B. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to write my A somewhere. So, because I don't want to, I want to clean here. So, permit me to write this here because it's very important. Our uh, A is 1 plus root 2, and our B is root 2 plus root 3. All right, now let me clean this. Like I said, we are going to get something amazing at the end of this, and I wouldn't like you to miss that, okay? So if we solve further, we have 1 over Y is equal to a over a b right plus b over a b so one over y is equal to a we divide itself to give us one so we have one over b plus b we divide itself to give us one so we have one over a now if you look at what we have, it's time to bring in our B and our A again. Yes. So we have 1 over Y is equal to 1 over, now our B is root three plus, root 2 plus root 3. So, which is same as root 3 plus root 2. Okay. Now let's rationalize this. Yes, because once you have something like this, once you have sold as your denominator, you are expected to rationalize. Now, to rationalize this, we multiply and divide by the conjugate of this. And conjugate of this is root 3 minus root 2. So, we are going to multiply this by root 3 minus root 2 and divide by root 3 minus root 2 as well. Okay? Then, plus 1 over A, and our A is what? root 2 plus 1 multiplied by, so we rationalize as well. That means we multiply and divide by root 2 minus 1. Okay, so we have 1 over y is equal to 1 times this, we give us root 3 minus root 2 divided by this times this, is root 3 plus root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus root 2. Okay? Then plus, this will give us the same thing as well. So we have root 2 minus 1 
divided by root 2 plus 1 multiplied by root 2 minus 1 as well. So 1 over y is equal to, before we do that, I want you to remember, okay, sorry, this is minus, this times this, this is minus. But remember that a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay? So a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So permit me to clean this because I need enough space to solve this. All right? Hope you are enjoying this because I am enjoying this. So 1 over y will be root 3 minus root 2 divided by, so this place will be root 3 squared minus root 2 squared, okay? Plus, this side will be root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 squared minus 1 squared. It's getting smaller and more beautiful yet. <laughs> so now we have 1 over y is equal to root 3 minus root 2 divided by... Now remember that square root of a all squared is equal to a. Square root of a squared is equal to a. So that means this will give us 3. And this will give us 2, okay? Plus, here we have root 2 minus 1 divided by, so this will divide, remove this, we have 2 minus 1 squared is 1. So going further, going further, we have 1 over y is equal to root 3 minus root 2 divided by 1 plus root 2 minus 1 divided by 1. So we can write 1 over y as root 3 minus root 2 plus root 2 minus 1, right? But we are actually looking for y and not 1 over y. So we can write that y So we can write that y but before that minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Sorry, minus root 2 plus root 2 is 0. So we have that 1 over y is equal to root 3 minus 1. So that means y is, remember that this is over 1, okay? Yeah, any number, any whole number is over 1 as a fraction. So we can write this as 1 over, since we are taking the value of y only and not 1 over y, it's going to be the inverse of this. So it's going to be 1 over root 3 minus 1. Now remember that we cannot have a sort as a denominator. So what we need to do is to multiply and divide by the conjugate of this in order to rationalize. So rationalizing, we have 1 over root 3 minus 1 multiplied by root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1. So y is 1 multiplied by root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 multiplied by root 3 plus 1. Okay? Now remember again that a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Therefore, we can solve this as y is equal to root 3 plus 1 
divided by root 3 squared root 3 squared minus 1 squared yeah difference of 2 squares so if we continue we have y is equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by now this we remove this we have 3 minus 1 squared is 1 so our y is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and this is our answer remember that this is equal to y so it means that this is also equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 <laughs> you see how small the answer is now thank you for watching